you know five or six years um just playing boys cricket and and with that it comes like yeah you've got to prove yourself because you are a girl playing against the lads um but you've also got to be quite tough because in that sort of environment it's quite ruthless and um dog eat dog we had uh sarah taylor obviously at sussex and she had a pretty similar experience i think she played a lot with um a lot with the boys at brighton college yeah. and funny enough then when she went into like i mean I was actually behind her. So I was trying to trying to get into like the academies and I was seeing people like Sarah Taylor, people like Ben Brown, who are two wicket keepers. I named Ben because he's a wicket keeper and they trained together. And I mean, actually there was this real trio that was that was kind of forming. I, actually it was kind of a quartet, which was people like Matt Pryor, who had a great career with England. It was Andy Hodd, who was our second keeper as well at Sussex. And then Ben Brown, who was... The, at the time, he was sort of second team in the first in and out of the first team, then ended up becoming captain and is now at Hampshire. Yeah. Um, and and then Sarah and and they all trained together. They all trained yeah. together. And and um, I forget his real his, his his name. I think it's Frenchy, who was the wicket keeping yeah, coach yeah. for yeah, for yeah, England. Like he would. <laughs> that was it. Yeah, he would always be around. But yeah. Sarah was training with the guys, and the drills weren't changing. Like there yeah. was no change in the speed of the drills. There was yeah. no. Um, there, there was no adaptation really going on from what I could see. I'm pro- I may be wrong there, but there didn't seem to be anything going on differently. And it's a, it's such an interesting topic, I think, because there is no doubt that her she was an outstanding player for England. You played with her, and I mean, you can probably comment on this better than me. Mm. But she did some things in wicket keeping now that Amy Jones is probably getting pretty close and, and is doing very very similar things. But she moved Sarah moved differently to everyone else at the time and yeah. and I there is no doubt that 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 practice that she was putting in at Sussex that we were seeing behind closed doors was a massive part of that and and it was um it was just a real eye opener because it's really easy for for someone to separate them as well isn't it for, to yeah. say like no nope, girls at the time or women here and and then men and boys over yeah. here yeah. like that's that's that is yeah. but it's amazing that you've had that experience and I'm, I'm actually interested to know like what the reception was like though for you and mm. and how it was received and did you then end up playing club cricket in men's teams yeah so uh, to be honest the reception was very mixed um even from the the lads in my team I mean I played at Wolverhampton for um for six or seven years and I ended up captaining that side so I gained the respect from the lads and I think for them they were like oh like it's just Georgia like she's one of us mm. um but it was very I was very aware of the fact that whenever I turned up at grounds I could hear the parents and they're like oh my god they've got a girl or is that a, is that a boy with long hair or is that a girl um and like I would think I was too young at the time to know that you know they were judging me but I was aware of it at the same time you know what I mean so I I didn't Mm. I didn't take it to heart I didn't go home with it and think oh you know they're judging me but I did think why why do they keep commenting on that you know I'm just trying here trying to play cricket um and then I trialed for the the county team and managed to get into that as well and uh, I think the lads were just the lads that I played with were brilliant and they were very always very accepting of me um and I loved nothing more than getting everybody out because I, the lads who I played against either took two approaches they were like oh I'm not getting out to a girl so they just defended everything so I never got hit for any runs <laughs> or they tried to whack me out of the park every single right. ball and inevitably got out so I took loads of wickets so uh it actually worked in my favor from that point of view but the the reception really probably was worse from the parents of of the other boys because they were like, oh, what's a girl doing playing in, in a boys' team? And that was very much the attitude back then. 